Hi, I'm Narid Ansari and in this video I'm going to show you how easy you can have more animation, more action, more of everything in your game with this system that I showed you how you can create. If you have worked with Unity, you saw something like this, that um, Unity has a state machine for animations and actions in Unity, but we don't have something like that in our game maker. So in my platformer game playlist that you can watch, I did create this system and I showed you how you can create that and how much it makes your life easier for creating whatever game you have. So in this case, we want to use this system to add some more actions to our game. And after that, we will work on graphic user interface or GUI. And after that, we work on enemies, a lot of enemies. We, we don't just need uh, some enemy. We, with this system, we can create a lot of enemy in just a 10 minutes. Okay, so without any further ado, let's begin. You know, f uh, until now, we did this. We have this player, we can shoot and we can jump, we can go around, we can run, and we can do this stuff. But we want to add some more animation and action to our game. So I, the purpose of this video is all about why this system is so much better than other system. Why Unity choose this system to have it on their engine so it make their programmer life easier and easier, okay? So for example, I want to have duck, run, and shooting, and duck, and shooting for our example and you know that we don't have it right now so what we can do about that you know that first step you should go to player states and add those states for example we have a, st a stand a stand shoot we have run or walk shoot what other we need we need um dock dock state we need dock shoot state okay we need all of these states okay so let me show you the sprites for them you know, all of these sprites, it's free on Marketplace and it's free on itch.io. And in uh, I think in the first video, I did show you where you can download it and how you can import it to your project and everything till now. So we have this dock sprite in here that our player dock. We have this dock shoot, okay? And we have this run shoot in here as well. You can see it, it walk and shoot, okay? I call it run shoot. Maybe I'm wrong, but I call it this. Don't worry about it so let's just close everything we need to go to our player object let's just open that i want to make some changes in here you can see when we want to shoot in dock mode the y position of where that the bullet should be appear is different from a stand shoot so let's just go to our object bullet and you can see for a standing we need to the y of the player minus it by 33 and it will be the y of our gun tip point okay so I want to do this in our player script in here, not in object bullet. So let's just do that fast. In a stand shoot, what we have done, we just say X and Y of our player, and we change the X and Y that we give to this object player, some value. We add some value, we minus some value, and I did talk about it, how we can reach this value in details, okay? So instead of this, let's just do all of this X and Y positioning in here, just in our player when we create that object bullet okay so for the x we want to plus it by this value okay so let's just copy this for x okay and just paste it here plus this okay and that's all you need to do and for this we need this 33 to be in here y minus 33 we didn't do anything okay and now we can just delete this we don't need this anymore and in here we don't have this m direction because the m direction is in here we declare it here so what is the m direction m direction is, is just our image x scale okay let's, so let's just copy and paste it instead of this and if we run our game now everything should work fine like before and you can see everything is like before the difference is that we put the x and y value of where the bullet should be created in our state machine in here not in our bullet so we don't need to do anything with, with bullet i i, I want to change some other thing in here like here image index is if the image index is greater or equal image number minus one and i did create a video about this about this anima animation and when you do it like this the animation won't end properly so if you have five frame each frame should for example play for five milliseconds but if you do it like this the last frame will be played for just something like one millisecond for example okay so we shouldn't do that and 
and I did show you how you can write this script in here that it will give you if the animation end or animation interval. I always use this animation interval. If you don't know what this animation interval is, please watch my video about a big problem in Game Maker that is in my animation end ending that I think most of you have problem with this, but uh, I think you skip it because it happens sometime, not always, okay? If you use this, you won't have any bug in your game. Uh, you can watch my video, but you can copy and paste, uh, you can write this uh, just for line of code in here and it will do the trick for you. So what, what we need to do in here, because in this case, the last frame won't be played as much as other frames. So what we should do instead of this one, we should say, animation interval and that's all you need to do with this uh, image index greater or equal image number minus animation interval we sure that this animation of shoot a stand in here we know that it played through the last frame for five milliseconds okay so with all of that if you run it nothing will happen it just looks smoother okay so if we play again you can see the animation we play at until the end so now what we want to do is doing for run shoot duck and duck shoot so let's just do it for duck first okay so what we should do we should um first of all we should in check the inputs if we want a duck or not if the player want a duck or not so we should go input check always you go to input check and check for the inputs that you want in here in, let's just copy and paste this paste it here and i want to say key down if key down that is s in this case if key down is pressed we should duck okay so somebody is uh, shooting at us and we want to duck okay so that's all we need to do in this input check we don't need to do anything else okay next let's just add this state to our state machine okay i want to copy and paste this last state in here and i want to use it for a st uh, dark state okay so like this you remember at the at the beginning of this video we create this dark run shoot and dark shoot for our player states okay so if we are at the dark state we want to go to dark function dark function state so let's just create this copy and paste these go to scr player and in here what i want to do i want to create function at the end of this so function paste the name we don't need anything for input and now we have dark state so what we want to do in dark state first of all we want to set the sprite index like all of the states okay so let's just copy one of them paste it here and instead of this we set it for dark okay and it will dock and in here at the end uh, when we are in this state we want to check if e down is not pressed okay if key down is not pressed go back to a state to player state player states dot stand okay so if the key down is pressed it should go to dark state and if it's not pressed it should go back to a standard state so know what we should do we should go to a standard state and in here just think about it when the player can go to dark state when he's or when he or she is standing right okay so in a standard state we should check for in here at the end of this um state or function we should check key down if key down is pressed we want to go to let's just copy and paste one of these and we want to go to dark state okay so what will happen first we check the input if we head down it should and if we are at the standard state it, it should go to dark state so and in the dark state if the key down is not pressed it will go to standard state so let's just run to see if it has any problem or not okay so you can see it is stand it when we hit the s on our keyboard the key down is true and it will dock okay but there is some problem with it okay if we hit s on our keyboard and if we hit d it will go right and left so what is the problem um in movement let's just go to movement we didn't write any code for some time for this movement in movement we should check this okay in movement we always check for key shift key jump and uh, we check the speed and in here we say if the key down is pressed we shouldn't have any speed at the horizontal and 
and vertical speed okay so hspd for uh, horizontal speed and vspd for uh, vertical speed so in this case if the key down is pressed it shouldn't be able to jump or move around okay so we should do this at the end of this movement function okay so now that we have this we don't need to do anything about this movement anymore so let's just run new game and if we dock we can't jump we can't go left and right everything is okay and you can see that we add some more action to our game and it didn't take too much time to add this it takes like five minutes and again our code is making sense and easy to develop and easy to read right so after that we want to add dog shoot okay so hope we can do that let's just we uh you remember that we add this state to our states player states in here we want to create a function for that i want to uh, copy and paste this stand shoot state function i want to copy it and use this okay so i want to add it to the end of this scr player or player script and this is for dot shoot okay for dog shoot state function we want to change this shoot stand to dog again okay so what we else we want to do um this is where we create our bullet so the y is not correct okay so we should change the where the our bullet is creating and i did calculate that and it's 22 and if you don't know how you can reach this value and calculate this value i have a video on that just watch my playlist of platformer game i did teach a lot in them and if the animation ends we should go back to dock okay and know that we have this function we should add it to our state machine in here okay and this is for dock shoot and we did a mistake in here for um for docking we shouldn't create this function for dock shoot so let's just delete this shoot in here because this is for just docking not dock shoot and in here again we should change it to dock okay so this is dock state function and this is dock state function i did forget to, sorry about that about that now that we have our dock shoot state we have our dock shoot state function so now that we have this dock shoot state we should check where we should run this state we should go to this state of course in dock state we should go to this state from dock state okay so if the, at this dock state we check if key shoot is pressed okay so we should in this dock state we should check for key shoot if key shoot is pressed we should create our bullet so i don't want to do that because we have this powerful system we can just copy and paste this if key shoot from here from this stand state to just our dock state so with that when we when we are in dock state and the key shoot is triggered we should go to dark shoot okay and that's how easy you can just copy and paste and do a lot of cool stuff and again it will be readable and you can see it's just take around two or three minutes to add this now let's just run it and you will see that it is bug free there won't be any bug and you can see everything is working fine animation is ending or oh, everything is working so you saw that for creating this dark state and dark shoot state it didn't take any time let's just collapse everything and now you can see again our code is readable and easy to develop and you can do whatever you want with this state machine it's how um, programmer doing it in unity and we should have it in game maker by ourselves it because we did it, we did it ourselves it give us a lot of choice so we can do a lot of a lot more cool stuff with it so again let's just do it for run state okay so we have dog dog shoot but we want to run shoot as well so what we should do everything is at place so let's just copy and paste one of these states and just watch the timer how easy you can have that for this dog no let's just change this to run shoot change this function to run shoot create this function okay like we did it before at the end of this cr player we say function we create our function and now we have our state okay everything is okay so what we should do first we should set the sprite for it okay change the sprite for a sprite index to run again we should copy and paste this because it's, it's just too easy okay change this to 33 because it's standing and shooting we could just copy it from a stand state a stand shoot state in here we could just copy and paste this it's, the difference is this just 33 and in here again let's just copy and paste this 
and with that we want to go back to walk or run state okay so we we go back to walk state so where do this run shoot state should trigger you guessed it it should go come from this walk state so at the in here we just check if again uh, we don't need to do it we can just copy and paste this if key shoot in here paste it for our walking here and instead of this stand shoot we want to go to run shoot okay again we can copy and paste this from here to our run state again so when we are running with the holding shift key on our keyboard we can again shoot as well so now if we run it new game and you can see you no know, everything is working fine and I, I, I was explaining it but it didn't take more than three minutes or two minutes to have this stand shoot state in our game okay we have everything now everything is working fine it's bug free all the animation is playing correctly it ended correctly and everything is fine and you can see again let's just collapse everything and you can see that our game is again readable easy to develop and it takes no time to add another action another animation to our state machine and i will do like melee attack and you can see it takes no time to do something like this in our game please if you want to help me hit that like button it helps me a lot and subscribe to my channel thank you very much for watching bye